This is Joe Garber. I'm here with Six Ward candidate Rod Robinson. Thanks for joining me. Thank you, Joe. Thanks for having me in. First off, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm 54 years old. Uh, I graduated from Hickman High School in 1973. Um, I've got two grown children who both uh, teach in the Columbia Public Schools. I've got a beautiful grandbaby who's almost two. Uh, I've been married to my wife Susie for 33 years now, and we live over on uh, Shepherd Boulevard. And I work for a Reback Supply Company, a plumbing wholesale company. And, uh, it gives me a chance to travel around the state and uh, enjoy the, the working here very much. And how did you get involved in this? It, it started uh, probably last summer. Um, I, some issues came up with a, a trail uh, in our neighborhood. Uh, there was a, a nature trail going down Easton Creek. It was going to be very close to our, our neighborhood. I know myself and a lot of our neighbors were really looking forward uh, to having that access to get on the trail in our neighborhood and go down through the grindstone uh, nature area and then hook onto the, onto the main trail through the city. And uh, we were all really looking forward to it, and it, it didn't happen. And uh, a lot of our neighbors were disappointed as, as I was. And, uh, because it kind of got me going to a few meetings. We had a couple of the, uh, focus group meetings and we talked about some of the things. And, and, and I started, I really started getting the feeling that, you know, my, my views weren't being represented uh, in the city council. And in talking to some of my neighbors, uh, I felt they felt the same way, uh, which kind of got me thinking about it. And, and one thing led to another, and uh, here I am. So uh, now that you're running, uh, what do you see as the major issues facing Columbia? Well, Joe, I'd have, I'd have to say that the number one issue I think facing Columbia is, is the economy. Uh, I, I think, you know, Columbia has, has got such a, a, has been somewhat insulated from some of the downturns in the economy of the past since I've been here. Um, and I don't think we're going to be quite as lucky with this one. We're already seeing the, you know, the effects of that. Um, I think the only thing, I think the only thing we can do is, is try to, is try to stimulate uh, more jobs in Columbia, bring some more industries, some more businesses to Columbia. Uh, to try to counteract some of the things that we've lost. I mean, some of the light industry around Columbia was related to the automobile industry, um, and there's not much we can do about that. We've, we've lost some of those, I'm afraid, at least for the time being. Um, so I think my, my thought is we've got to be a little more aggressive. We've got to be more welcoming to companies, businesses that want to come to Columbia. And, and I think that's, that's, that's a, a problem I see right now is I don't think Columbia is doing everything it can do to, to try to bring these people in. Um, and that's something that I would hope to change. Uh, if I get on the city council. Any ideas of how to bring those businesses in? Well, uh, the specifics of actually drawing them in, I'm, I, I don't know. Uh, but I think what we can do when we, when we, we can make Columbia more inviting. Uh, when, when companies and businesses do show an interest in com coming to Columbia, I think we can be just much more welcoming. Uh, uh, I think there's some, there's some good businesses that have come and looked at Columbia. And I think when they see some of the, the hurdles that they they have to jump and all the, the things they have to do to try to get their businesses started here, I, I think they've gone other places. We've seen some that have gone over to gone to Fulton or gone to Jeff City or moved to Sedalia, somewhere where they they less they met uh, you know with less instruction. And I think that's something we just have to do. We have to make ourselves more inviting so companies want to come here. Columbia's got so many things going for it, um, with the university and all the the businesses and the industry that can spin off of the university. Uh, I was at a, a forum at uh, Columbia Chamber of Commerce at earlier this week, uh, growing our economy. And they, they went through some of the, it was mostly related to the healthcare industry. Uh, but they, they were talking about all the, the innovations and the ideas that have come out of the university and the university research. Uh, and then they talk about how you take those ideas and those innovations, turn it into a product, and then turn that product into a business. Uh, and so it's a cooperative that between the university and the city, uh, and the, the incubator that they've developed over there to take those ideas. And there's already some great products that are out on the market uh, and brings a lot of income, a lot of revenues to the, to the city. So we're, we've got to grow more of those. So we're, we're growing from within. And at the same time, we're welcoming companies. There are these national companies that are looking for a place to land. Uh, we've got to make ourselves uh, more inviting uh, to those businesses. Now, uh, I know you talked about this with me earlier before the interview, and uh, this might also help to bring in businesses, but another issue facing the city is crime. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, exactly. I think next to um, 
next to the economy, I think when I talk to people in, in, in some of the neighborhoods and talking about what's going on, what's important to the people that are, that are out there, I think crime is probably the, the second thing that comes up after the economy. Um, the latest uh, crime statistics came out and it was a, it was a little confusing, it was a little kind of a mixed bag. Um, they were saying that violent crime is down, which is great, but the property crimes are way up. So it was kind of a, a mixed blessing there. Uh, I think what we've We've got to do a, a take a look at the, the city of Columbia. I think the police department has done a great job. Uh, Acting Chief Dresner has done a fantastic job during the time he's been in there. Uh, the Columbia police are doing a, doing a great job with what they've got. We've got to fully support them. Uh, we've got to make sure they have enough manpower. Uh, just recently, they had the, the big arrest where they arrested I think 16 uh, members of the gang that were involved in all types of illegal activities and selling drugs. And they did a great job. Got those guys off the street which is great. I think we've got a, it's, a, it's sort of a two-prong approach. You, the ones that have already decided to become criminals and join gangs and are selling drugs, you know, we got to get out there and get them, get them arrested, get them prosecuted, get them off the streets. But at the same time, I think as, as a community, we've got to look at how did those kids end up in that position. Most of them are young, uh, you know, they're barely finishing high school at this point where they should be, or maybe starting college or something, getting jobs. But they, for, for whatever reason, they chose to, to take this lifestyle. I think we have to go back, whether high school, junior high, middle school, and, and find out what happened to these kids, where they went, where they made that turn, and decided to, you know, follow a life of crime instead of um, something more productive. So I think we've, we've got to get in there and figure out, uh, one, take care of the ones that have already made that decision, get them off the streets, and then go back and try to maybe save uh, the younger ones that haven't, uh, haven't completely uh, gone that path yet. And you're willing to work with other council members on, uh, on coming up with some ideas to fight crime? Absolutely. Uh, there's, there's. Uh, I think Laura Nowser has, has come up with some great ideas, uh, and I'd definitely be interested in, in working with the other city council people to uh, come up with some ideas. And uh, it, it definitely would take everybody to get something like that done. And it's, it's one of those things. I think it's easy. Like a lot of these issues, it's easy to talk about, but actually finding something that'll work and getting out there and getting the community wrapped around it and get it done is, is different. So it's going to take a lot of effort, but. Uh, definitely worth worth the time. Your opponent is the incumbent, Barn Mahapi, in the sixth ward. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to say that you might do differently from her? Um, I think you know, the only thing I can do is look, you know, maybe toward to the past uh, issues that have come before the city council in the last three years. Um, and there's there's quite a few of them that, uh, of course, it's it's a hindsight, but there's things that I would have done differently. Uh, there's some issues before the city council that um, uh, my opponent was, was against that I would have been for, uh, and I'm sure vice versa. But uh, the biggest difference is, I think, uh, is, is the, the welcoming nature of, of Columbia as a business environment. Uh, I would think I'd see myself as much more of a pro-business candidate um, if there is such a thing. That's one of the areas that I feel we really need a lot of work on. Uh, so I think when projects and things come before the city council, I think I would just be much more uh, open-minded to them as far as welcoming and, and trying to help stimulate their economy. Anything you want to add today? Not really. I think we've covered everything. Thank you for coming in. Thank, thank you for your time. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate it. That was sixth ward candidate, Rod Robinson.